In this video, we will solve two adding and subtracting rational expression problems. This will be the first problem, and the second problem will be this. So let's get started with the first one. And so if you notice, we have a common denominator of x plus 2, x plus 2, right? And so for problems like these where we have a common denominator, you simply need to add the numerators up. So you would get 2x plus 6 minus x minus 4, simply combining the numerator, divided by our common denominator of x plus 2. The next step is to combine like terms. You have a 2x here and a minus x. So 2 minus 1 would give us 1, so 1x. 6 minus 4 would give us plus 2 divided by our denominator, which was x plus 2. Since the denominator are, are the same, x plus 2 divided by x plus 2, we would ultimately get 1. And that's all you need to do for this first problem. And now we'll do the second problem. Now in this problem, the denominator are different. So we need to get a common denominator. And in order to do so, we have to do one trick. So we get 5 divided by x plus 3. And the trick is we multiply by this term, top and bottom. So we say times x divided by x. So x divided by x is simply 1 plus 3 divided by x. This right here times this term, x plus 3. So we get x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. So x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is simply 1. So we're not changing anything. So we have 5 divided by x plus 3 times 1 plus 3 divided by x times 1. But now we need, now we need to multiply these terms. So we would get 5 times x is 5x divided by x times x plus 3. So x parentheses x plus 3. And we do the same for this one. So plus 3 times x plus 3 divided by x times x plus 3. And so, so 5x will remain the same. So 5x divided by x times x plus 3 plus 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 3 is 9 divided by our common denominator, which was x times x plus 3. So next step, so 5x plus 3x would give us 8x plus 9 divided by our common denominator, which was x times x plus 3. And that's all we need to do for this problem.